Sometimes uh, you're about to see some iconic picture cards. Oh yes, yappa dappa do. We have Fred Flintstone and Barney Rubble Stars from the Flintstones movie, John Goodman. Some of the Back to the Future picture cars. We have the Peace on Skyline from Too Fast, Too Furious, and a collection of cars from the Jurassic Park and Jurassic World movies, including one of the gyrospheres from Jurassic World. Now, Jurassic World Dominion is coming out this summer, June 10th. Put it in your calendars. We're very excited about that movie. You know, the stars of the first Jurassic Park movie, Sam Neill, Laura Dern, and Jeff Goldblum will all be appearing in Dominion. And speaking of Jurassic Park, do I have any Jurassic Park fans on board? Yes? Oh, okay. This one is for you guys. All right. We are going to take you there. Welcome to Jurassic Park. That's right. Welcome to Jurassic Park, ladies and gentlemen. We are heading into an area of the back lot where Universal keeps some of the set pieces that were featured in the first three Jurassic Park movies. Now, if you're a fan of the Jurassic Park movies, you'll recognize some of these set pieces, including that picture boat over there in the right, which was featured in Jurassic Park 3, and the mobile lab over here on your left, which was featured in this scene in the movie The Lost World, where it got pushed off a cliff by a T-Rex. <laughs> Oh, oh! Oh my goodness, guys! I am so sorry. No, I'm so dry. <laughs> watch out, card two. We have dinosaurs here in Jurassic Park. But watch out, card three. They must have got out of their cages again. I'm so sorry. Those are the lophosaurs. They're very wild. I do apologize. Now, you know, this scene that you're seeing features a great Hollywood illusion. That was not an actual cliff that the RV was dangling from. That was actually one of our parking structures here in the lot that they dressed to look like a cliff. They suspended the mobile lab with a giant crane. When you know the world is right around the corner, you're in the back lot. And I'm going to prove that to you right now. We're going to take you from the jungles of Costa Rica a little bit further north into Mexico. We're going to take you to old Mexico. The wild, wild west. And look, we're here. Welcome. All right, old Mexico. It's called old Mexico because it is actually one of the oldest sets here on the back block. Now, some of these sets here in old Mexico date all the way back to the silent era of film. And you might remember old Mexico because it's been featured in many movies throughout the years, including Three Amigos, Steve Martin. Did you hear that? Oh, there it is again. Oh, it sounded like thunder. It... Oh, what about this? Oh, my goodness, it's raining. Oh, wow. Well, you know what? This is a good thing. I'm not mad at this. We, we need this real bad. You know, we don't get a lot of rain here in California. We're in a drone. This is good. Although it is raining very hard. Yeah. You know, they say when it rains this hard this fast, that flash floods are a possibility. Yeah. I don't want to scare you guys. Usually you hear a low rumbling sound before a flash flood. As I was saying, it... Oh no. Oh my good. Cars Gentlemen, I'm so proud of you. You just survived the flash flood. I can't say the same for Paul Giamatti there. It's like a big fat liar. He had it coming. Oh my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, we have reached the halfway mark here on the studio tour. So I just want to remind everyone to remain seated during the entire tour. The studio is private property. If you drop your phone or just can't wait to use the restroom, pull the red cord and get back to assist you. 
Well, right now we're going to take it north of the border, back to the states and some more of the Old West, and this time to Texas. I want to welcome you all to Six Points, Texas. This town ain't big enough for the both of us, Jimmy Fallon. Now look here, nice folks in this tram don't want no trouble. They just want to check out Six Points, one of the oldest sets on the Universal Rock. I hear this is where John Wayne and Jimmy Stewart shot a few of their westerns. That's right. That's where I aim to shoot you. Looks like we got ourselves a Mexican standoff. Lucky shot. Now what say you mount up and get out of town while we're getting good? All right. Well, I'll see you again, Fallon. Well, you can count on me, Fallon. Now get out. This is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Well, we just have to talk about All right. Now, you know, these sets are still used to this day. In fact, director Quentin Tarantino shot scenes from his last film, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, with Leonardo DiCaprio Brad Pitt, right here in Six Points. But as we take you out of Six Points, I do want to point out these massive sound stages to your left, just across Park Lake Lagoon. These are newest sound stages, and uh, one of them is Stage 24. Now, Stage 24 is normally where they shoot the voice, but right now, Snoop Dogg and Kelly Clarkson have taken over that stage to host American Song Contest on NBC. Now this is an all-live music competition series where one artist representing each U.S. state and territory competes to win America's vote for best hit song. Now if you're familiar with Eurovision, this is the American version of that show. Right now we're going to take you to another part of the world. We're going to take you to the old world, Europe, Little Europe. It's over here on your right. Now the great thing about Little Europe is it can be any part of Europe you want it to be. It's very simple. All you have to do is just change the language on the signs, put a little set back right in the windows, change the flag. Now Little Europe is, is actually the birthplace of the horror film. A lot of classic universal monster movies were filmed here and Little Europe. Frankenstein, Dracula, The Mummy. I think we always sort of think of monsters. Dracula, Frankenstein, mm -hmm. and Why Frankenstein. The Mummy, The Hunchback of Notre Dame. The Invisible Man. The Stand of the Opera. Classic. So just brilliant. That Frankenstein image. Swathead. It's one of the great icons of the world. That to me was like the essence of the universal horror film. I was just mesmerized by this movie. Boris Karloff, Ron Chaney. I remember the original Universal Studios Mummy movie really scaring me. They still ring in our memories now, and we love it. Indeed. Now, if you are a fan of The Good Place, starring Kristen Bell and Ted Danson, this should all look very, very familiar to you. This, of course, was the setting for that series for four seasons. You, Melanie Shellstrom, are dead. Come on. This location, the afterlife, come on. I have never ever seen this. You're in the good place. I'm not supposed to be here. I can't risk going to the bad place. Yeah, well, maybe it's not all that bad. Hi there. How can I help you? What is the bad place like? Well, it doesn't sound awesome. That is not. Emmy nominated for outstanding comedy series, The Good Place. All right, guys, I have some very exciting news. It looks like the studio just gave us a green light. We're going to take you inside a soundstage right now. How cool is that? That means the studio has uh, granted us access to stage 50, which um, is where they've been shooting a big action movie the last couple weeks. As we head inside, just a friendly reminder to remain seated. We do not want to disturb anything inside here for continuity's sake. Now, Stage 50 is a very unique stage. It's where they shoot some of those train station scenes you see in TV shows, movies. Now, they shot this scene from an episode of Bones here several years back. Very, 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 very,
a unique sound stage in that and there's actually two different levels. One on the first floor, which as you can see, is dressed as a train station. But if you go up the stairwell sound, I mean, Saying, 
shard is not working. Repeat. The shard is not working. We just waited around. We just waited and waited and waited. The shard worked well enough for a while there and the biggest effect. So I really owe the shard a lot. Yeah, see that's the final way. It was director Steven Spielberg who named the shark cruise after his lawyer. It's a real shark. All right, right now we're going to take it back to Texas, but not the Old West. Uh, we're going to take you to the chicken ranch over here on the right. And that was Bonin's Chicken Ranch, which some of you Dolly Parton or Reynolds fans might have done better. It's the best little warehouse in Texas. That's where they shot their hit movie musical in 1982. Now since then, it's been used in many other productions that raise up what we call a practical set. They can shoot both interior and exterior shots. Now over here on your left-hand side, it's a closed set. That's Colonial Street. Colonial Street's where they've been shooting new series here at the lot, like Bel Air, which you can see on Peacock, Never Have I Ever, which you can see on Netflix, Keenan, Keenan Thompson sitcom. But as you can see, it's been used in many other productions. It's your typical suburban neighborhood. Oh yeah, it was Mysteria Land on ABC's Desperate Housewives as well. Alright, so I know what you guys are thinking right about now. You're, you're looking around and you're thinking that there's nothing to see. I get it. I hear you. I do. But this is actually a filming location we're driving through right now. We call this Wilderness Road. And sometimes, hey, you need a middle of nowhere setting for your movie shoot or your, your TV shoot. Look, we got you covered. We got a lot of middle of nowhere here on the back lot. In fact, this area over here on your left was where Sandra Bullock shot one of those campsite scenes from the movie Bird Box and Netflix. It just goes to show every inch of space is used here on the lot. Now, all of you Fast and Furious fans, don't think I, I forgot about you. Uh, you saw one Beasley car earlier on in the tour. That's not right. We, we are the studio of Fast and Furious, so of course we've got more. Why? We're going to show you some of the race cars that were featured in the latest Fast movie, F9, over here on the left, car. along with some other very famous picture cars. Of course, right there at the front, Dominic Toretto's Black Charger, an iconic picture car from for that franchise. And look, we even have Bumblebee in the corner over there for Transformers. Now speaking of, of iconic, just around the corner are two of Hollywood's most famous movie sets. That's right, it's the Base Motel and the Psycho House from Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho. Now that house up there on the hill, that is the original house from the 1959 no, production of Psycho. When Psycho was released in 1960, it was a groundbreaking film, featuring an all-string score by Bernard Herrmann, and of course the infamous shower scene with Janet Lee, which took 78 different shots to film. Theory. Wait till you get a load of this. This is the spectacular plane crash set site from Steven Spielberg's War of the Worlds. jumbo jet that you see over there it was destroyed specifically for this incredible scene from the film. The airplane crash site set is a perfect example of a set that is all designed around the vision that Stephen had. He was like, again, to sit down to talk about the war of the world. That thought, what if the 747 goes down right in a big neighborhood? Because it's, it's just something you don't see. You're doing good. 
Well, you're done, Greg. Listen to me. 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 Close your eyes, okay? Okay, I'm closed. Mommy. Robbie, get in. Get in. This is one of the largest sets ever constructed for film, rivaling James Cameron's Titanic and Cecil B. DeMille's Ten Commandments. And despite the use of these life-size realistic sets, the film featured more than 500 special effects. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are approximately 10 minutes from the end of our tour, and we'll be returning to the theme park shortly. Remember to pull the emergency cord in. If you need any assistance, please remain seated on the tram at all times. Well, from the War of the Worlds, we now take you out here to our Falls Lake area. It's over here on the right, culminating with that giant blue backdrop out there in the distance. That's the world's largest freestanding backdrop. Now, Falls Lake is where they shoot a lot of those ocean set scenes you see in movies. Evacuate. That's right, including this scene from the movie Sully on Top Dance. Guys, I'm going to be honest with you, um, we are in a little bit of a situation right now. So, Ronnie, our driver, he's going to pull up into this garage. We're going to 